crafty deceptions. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I fear lest somehow, as the serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, so your minds may be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Paul continues to expose the tactics of the enemy. And in chapter 11, verse 3, he tells us that one of the tactics of the enemy is crafty deception. He alludes back to the time when Satan deceived Eve and he's saying to the New Testament believers in Corinth, he says, you know, I don't want the enemy to do the same thing to you because he will attempt through crafty deceptions to corrupt. That word corrupt basically means to weaken, uh, to you know, cause to wither, so bring to a place of weakness, uh, to corrupt of what you have, to corrupt your minds and um, uh, from the truth that you have in Jesus Christ. So you see, the enemy uses crafty deceptions uh, in order to gain entrance and access into the mind of the believer. Uh, this is interesting when you look at the fact that it is crafty deceptions, meaning he's not coming to deceive in plain sight. So he's not going to appear and say, look, I'm trying to tell you some lies. That's not how he approaches. His approach is crafty. That means he's going to come in a way and in a manner that we are unsuspecting of. He's going to use channels that we are very open to already. And he's going to use that and he's going to package his lies in such a way that we are more likely to receive that. And that's how he operates. Crafty deceptions, packaging his lies and bringing them into our lives and through channels and ways and methods that we are more like, most likely to receive them. And so all the more reason we have to stand guard. And deception, embracing deception weakens us, as Paul says, it corrupts us, means it weakens us. When we believe a lie, we are at a disadvantage. We are in a place of weakness. And so we need to stand guard against these crafty deceptions of the enemy, lest we get corrupted from the simplicity of the truth that we have in Jesus Christ. Be vigilant, be on guard, stand on the side of truth, examine everything that comes to you with the word of God. Is it aligned to the truth of the word? Be careful, even of the crafty deceptions. In Ephesians chapter four, Paul talks about uh, us giving no place to the devil. That means we are on guard, we give no opportunity, no power, no occasion for Satan to operate in our lives. Stand against his crafty deceptions. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will help us be vigilant to guard and fortify our mind with the truth so that we will be able to keep out the crafty deceptions of the enemy that weaken us and corrupt us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.